If you clicked on this video, you're probably looking to get radical on your road bike. While a bunny hop can be used to impress humans and animals alike, it's also an important weapon to have in your arsenal. It can be used to avoid obstacles in the road and even get over pesky potholes. I'm going to demonstrate today how to do this with clips and flats, so let's go ahead and get right into it. You'll need to do a couple things in preparation. First thing I would recommend is putting on a helmet. You may not look as cool, but head injuries and hospital bills aren't very cool either. Next, you're going to want to make sure that your tires are aired up pretty high as to avoid getting a pinch flat. I generally put mine around 105 to 110 PSI. And I've never blown a tire doing bunny hops. I also see a lot of bunny hop tutorials saying to lower your seat. While that's great for mountain bikes and BMX, you'll rarely have this type of situation on a road bike. Oh no, an obstacle. If you are a complete beginner, then go ahead and lower your saddle a little bit, but otherwise you don't want to be riding around like this. If you can learn the bunny hop with your seat in your actual riding position, it will make you that much more prepared in an emergency. Next find a small obstacle like a broomstick, skateboard, or even just a crack in the pavement. Just something you can visually use to time your hops, but won't make you have a catastrophic crash if you hit it. Roll at the obstacle slowly. As you approach, compress your arms down while you're standing. Right before your tire hits, shift your body weight towards the back while lifting the bike towards your chest. Imagine picking up a box off the ground. You don't do it just with your arms, you use your whole body to pick it up. And that's kind of the best metaphor I have right now for this. Depending on how tall the obstacle is, will determine how high you'll need to pull the bars up. Keep practicing this until you're comfortable with that motion. You can also practice this going off a curb, which is another great skill to learn. The same process goes for this. Right before you roll off the curb, lift your front wheel to level out the bike, and just let the back tire roll off. The next step is to lift the back wheel up by itself. This is also a fluid motion that involves your whole body, and you'll kind of feel it when you get it right. While you're standing on the bike, you're going to be shifting your body weight forward ever so slightly while keeping constant downforce on your bars. Also keep pressure on your pedals. While you're shifting your weight forward, focus on using your feet to do a backward scooping motion. If you pay close attention, you'll see my toes start to point downwards, and this is happening because of the scooping motion. This one takes a lot more practice than lifting the front wheel. Just keep practicing it, and it will become second nature. Next, you just need to link these two steps together. There are two ways of doing this. Uh, the first way is where you're actually hopping. So to do the actual bunny hop, it's just gonna take a good amount of timing and technique with the two steps that I've mentioned. Uh, to elaborate a little more, so go ahead and pull up on the bars. As you're pulling up, your body's gonna start standing up. Once you reach the point where you've already cleared your front wheel over the obstacle or the front wheel isn't gonna go any higher, that's when you need to start shifting your weight forward while lifting your legs to bring the bike up and doing that scooping motion. I know it sounds technical, but you're basically just pulling and then lunging your weight forward to bring the back end up with you. It is a pretty fast motion, so it does come down to your timing. Um, I know I say this a lot, but just go out and practice and it'll become super easy to you in the future where you won't even think about it. And the second way is as two separate moves to get up something like a large curb or something that you can't jump up yet. If you choose to be clipped in, which I am 90% of my rides, you'll probably end up doing an English bunny hop, which is where both wheels leave the ground at the same time. I use this a lot while riding, especially at high speeds when I can't swerve to miss a pothole or something in the road. You won't be able to hop as high this way, but it's very useful in a fast-paced situation. Just literally jump. Your feet are attached to the bike so it'll come up with you. I recommend learning it the first way I mentioned and using this one as needed. So that's basically it. 
the most profound advice I can give is just get out there and practice it as much as possible. Um, do it in an empty parking lot like I've been doing, just so you don't have any distractions or no cars running you over. Also make sure you're having fun with it. Um, it doesn't have to be so serious. You can have a good time with it. I had a great time filming this, so you should have a great time learning it. There's glass in there. If I missed anything or if you have any questions for me, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll answer to the best of my abilities. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up if it was helpful to you or if you just enjoyed watching it and had a good time. Thank you to my subscribers for checking it out and sticking around and always being cool. If you aren't subscribed, consider doing so. We have a new video every Sunday. Get out there and practice, stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you next Sunday. Anyway, good, I'm going backwards.